Tonight, Congress is getting closer to a government shutdown with money set to run out in now less than 48 hours. So far, no sign of a short-term deal between the House and Senate. Tonight, our Lauren Costick explains what this could mean for all of us here in Indiana. Well, just like every other state, a government shutdown would have a huge impact here in Indiana, including for many workers here at the federal building in Indianapolis. In total, there are more than 22,000 federal workers in Indiana. If Congress doesn't reach a deal, that means no more paychecks, even if their job is deemed essential. It's unfortunate. It has an effect, obviously, first and foremost, on the federal employees. Governor Holcomb said the state is prepared for a federal shutdown, but ultimately hopes Congress can reach a deal. It is avoidable. They've got less than 48 hours, I guess. Usually they get things done when they absolutely have to, and I hope they'll realize this is that time. In Marion County, more than 100,000 people rely on federal programs. According to the Indiana Family and Social Services Administration, more than 4,000 people in Marion County get temporary assistance for needy families, or TANF. More than 140,000 people receive SNAP benefits, also known as food stamps. Both of these programs would run out of money by the end of October if a government shutdown continued. Governor Holcomb said there are some safeguards in place, adding this is not the way the state likes to operate. We don't like to be slowed down, and this is having that effect. The deadline for Congress to reach a deal is Saturday at midnight, with the government set to shut down at 12.01 Sunday morning. In Indianapolis, Lauren Costick, 13 News.